Honestly, the art of yodeling is tremendously difficult. Tremendously difficult. Tremendously difficult. Tremendously difficult. It's a strong, strong yes. What the fuck? It's not a clear and sunny day. We could have a yodeling drag queen in our grand final. What the fuck? Get it out to you. Tots me to you. Get it out to you. Get it out to you. What the fuck? What the fuck? The way to little lay, or the way to find a little is a doodle rattle in a one horse open sleigh. The yodel did not originate in Switzerland, is not dying, is not limited to sound of music, sing alongs, Oktoberfest, kitsch, or talent search wow moments. Taylor Ware's 2006 TV performance did go viral with over 60 million YouTube views, ultimately giving young performers the potentially lucrative okay to yodel in public. Yodeling is found in all music in every part of the world, and yet it always elicits that strange, uncomfortable, disorienting smile, which continues to segregate it from good taste, high art, hip culture, and general acceptance. This, this must, must change. change. The yodel can be so much more. Austrian immigrant to America, Johnny Weissmuller, learned his famous call hearing yodeling at Pennsylvania picnics. It's Cuba 1959. Weissmuller is driving a car full of friends to a golf tournament in Havana when they're ambushed by Castro's rebels. Why they're playing golf during the revolution is not clear. The suspicious rebels aim their rifles at the golf contingent, but suddenly, Fast thinking Weiss Muller stands up, beats his chest, and belts out his famous Tarzan Yodo. The stunned rebels, recognizing their movie hero, hastily apologize and smilingly yell, Tarzan, Tarzan, bienvenido, welcome to Cuba. They shake his hand and he signs autographs on the sleeves of their uniforms, after which they personally escort Weiss Muller and friends to the golf tournament. Weiss Muller was convinced that this Yodo had saved his life. The yodel was very likely there at the beginning of mankind, in Central Africa, 
It served as a warning signal, as celebratory song, as tender lullaby for the pygmies, who yodeled to communicate their gratitude to the guardian spirit, their forest. Meanwhile, jazz singer Leon Thomas believed his ancestors spoke through him via the yodel. He called it solar phone. <laughs> The strangest story of retransmission involves Kenya's Kipsigi tribe. Girls sang there, Kami Rochwa, about a dancing, yodeling centaur. Half man, half antelope. They called Jimmy Rogers. When I was a boy, my greatest fantasy was to become a singing cowboy. Uh, that was after listening to the late Jimmy Rogers for quite some time. Snow, the Dutch cowgirl, Texas Kitty Prince, Johnny Cash, and many others have yodeled in imitation of train whistles. Trains symbolize hope and progress, but the whistle, with its forlorn blues sound, signaled human alienation. Kishore Kumar also yodeled train whistle style. Indian yodeling is indeed very old, but we are mainly exposed to the Bollywood version via playback singers like the great actor, singer, director, comedian, and yodeler Kishore Kumar. Kishore Kumar. Kishore Kumar. Kishore Kumar. Kishore Bollywood, like Hollywood, mashes styles, genres, magnifies stereotypes, crossing borders of taste, while constructing a deliriously palpable world of make-believe. One can hear jazz, rock and roll, country cowboy, and alpine yodeling. In the Thar Desert, you can still hear traces of ancient yodeling. <laughs>
the women picked tea on the hillsides of Shaanxi province, they sang tea picking songs to communicate and kill the drudgery of the workday. These old peasant melodies were often infused with lilting, high pitched yodels. The mountain people of Taiwan, the Hakka, have preserved these tea picking yodel songs. Meanwhile, the Hakka's neighbors, the Sai Si Yacht, have for hundreds of years feared their neighbors, a tribe of dark skinned dwarfs, or pygmies who were thought to have magical powers and taught the Sai Si Yacht farming and singing, but also harassed them. They eventually killed most of the pygmies. The survivors, however, put a curse on the Sai Si Yacht who still sing the ritual to the short people, wearing protective grass, drinking wine, singing and yodeling. There are over 3,000 yodelers in South Korea. There are yodel classes, festivals, and Swiss-style yodel clubs. The yodel came to Korea via Japan in 1910, but only became popular after 1950 when U.S. soldiers were stationed in Korea. Koreans favor Swiss-style yodeling, but there are also some cowboy yodelers, and of course, pop star Bai Rain, who learned to yodel for his role in I'm a Cyborg, but that's okay. Since he smooths Yodel he earned him the title Emperor of Khmer Music. He introduced Western pop, psychedelia, and rock to Cambodia, covering Elvis and Hey Jude. He befriended Prince Ivanok, but his popularity amongst the royalty probably led to his demise. About to be executed by Pol Pot, he asked to sing one last song. His captors sneered as he sang, and then they executed him with a machete blow to the neck. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for an important message from our sponsor. Watch! Bye. Book. But what is yodel? A greeting, a warning, a joyous outburst, or an irritating variation upon the tones of a jackass as poet Sir Walter Scott in 1830 opined? Probably all of the above. Yodlers emphasize the rapid leap or glottal jolt at the pitch change from chest to head voice and back and forth. The highlighting of the voice break is considered a desirable audio effect rather than a defect that trained singers are taught to polish away with glissando techniques. It is powerful, versatile, and multifaceted, and potentially dangerous. I could spend hours covering the migration of the yodel out of Africa as well as the rich history of yodeling in the Alps, which became the first official tourist destination in the late 18th century. 
thus sealing its indelible association with this region. Romantic era composers began wandering the hills, collecting, notating, essentially engaging in the first sampling of folk songs and yodels that spoke to them about communicating with nature. They would then reuse these yodel melodies in their symphonies. List apparently engaged in outright theft, snatching sheet music to the Rigi Mountain yodel song from the top of a piano in a local in Switzerland, Germany, Austria and northern Italy have all seen enough time pass by so that any negative associations the yodel had with Nazism have faded into amnesia and we are now witnessing a yodeling renaissance led by inventive singers and songwriters throughout this region. the echo right there, boo. The late 19th century wonder vocals were an odd mix of idealistic hippies and disciplined boy scouts. They'd grown disillusioned with industrialized society and hoped that their back-to-nature activities, hiking, camping, and yodeling around campfires, could stave off the empty terror of a materialistic society. In the post-World War I period, they tried to make sense of their world, embracing genuine folk culture, promoting nudism, and a clean, sober lifestyle. They hiked through the hilly countrysides, collecting real folk songs and rediscovered old songbooks. These collections, edited to present a noble image of the Germans, included herder songs, Kurain, and other yodels, like Lauterbach. But their earnest hiking eventually morphed into menacing marching. Songs of hope became songs of discipline. Some socialists opted out. But most of the von der Vogels were easily seduced by the trappings of the Nazis who seized their message and transformed them into the Jugend SS. Brits are crazy for yodeling as long as it's by someone else and is able to show how insane another culture is. Brits don't readily admit to their own significant contribution to yodeling. We began with 80s pop star Robert Palmer. Meanwhile, Harry Toroni was known as the human puzzle. His high voice created gender confusion among audiences. His yodeling actually saved friend Mercedes Gleitzee's life. When a boat's foghorn failed as she swam the English Channel, Toroni stepped up to yodel and guide her through the foggy darkness. He was as unique in his time as Tiny Tim or Clouds Nomi were in theirs. Van Dusen's yodeling had a racy, pre WW2, cross dressed joie de vivre, he could have been boy George's grandfather. Highs It's Party Time Again was re released in 1988 and became a surprise novelty hit at age 80. 
Meanwhile, composer Brian Eno's only top 40 UK hit was a yodel song. There is punk yodeling from Mark E. Smith in the fall as well as the Buzzcocks. Listen. And, of course, we heard one of the most natural, DNA endowed yodelers, Irish singer Dolores O'Riordan. Avant-gardists dig up ancient roots and hurl them into space to communicate with potential aliens. The magic occurs at the epiglottis, an unsexy, meaty flap that opens and closes over the glottis. The popping sound is the break between chest and head voice. Western vocalists polish it away, mirroring the hegemony of man in disharmony with nature while the yodel enjoys an egalitarian, holistic relationship with nature. A call from, of, and by the wild. <laughs> We get out with Kishore Kumar and Asha Boland as Beverly Hills 90210 actress and visionary, Tori Spelling once predicted, yodel music is gonna be the rap of the late 90s. <laughs> Yo hippie sell gay, ah ah ah, hold it, yo do it, yo do it. 